Hey there, and welcome back to your previous round on this course. And it looks like you had a pretty decent round on the go last time. Let's continue along on that same path. Well, this one might be a little bit long, but let's see what happens. Well, it's unlucky, missed the green on that approach. Okay, from the green side, sand. Hopefully we get up and down from here. All right, not a whole lot of work left to do here. Nice shot. And for the par. It could be a good one. Ouch. Hopefully we can get this to drop. This one's for bogey. Okay, time to get out the scorecard. Okay, one under par on your round. This one's a par four hole. Not sure where this one's gonna end up. And we got around 220 to go from here. Oh, come on, have a seat for us now. A little too much power on that uh, approach shot. And this is our third shot. Yeah, you'll take that. This one is safe par. Okay, well putt. Now let's move on. And after that one, you'll stay at one under. And we're working with the tailwind on this hole. And the tee shot looks like it'll be safe. Where did that come from? I didn't see any bunker. Setting up in the bunker. Putt, and that is for birdie number five on the day. All righty, down to two under par after that. And teeing this one up on the 15th hole. Well, that was never going to be good. And just in the first cut on this one. And we're back in the fairway. Setting up here now for our third shot. Oh, you might have a little too much on this. A little wayward on the approach. That's all right, though. That's an ugly lie, but uh, you're close to the green. Here we go. 24 feet away. Ah, 
right by. Here comes a three footer. Good work on that putt. That's for bogey. That hole puts you up to one under. Yeah, you might need a little more power. We got a headwind on this hole. And this is a tough call. Not sure where this will go. All right, we're in the fairway bunker. Let's see what you got. Okay, here's our third shot. Here we go. Let's let's save par on this one. Going towards that hole. Okay, let's finish up. And that's for back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. You are currently sitting right at even par. All right, let's see what you got here on hole number 17. Oh, man, it's going to the water. This is what our third shot's looking like. And we're going right of the pin. Ah, that didn't hit the mark, did it? And this is your fourth shot. And for the double. Oh, fancy uh, putter work there. Good work. And right now you're two over. That wind is blowing right to left on this hole. Not quite sure where this will end up. Yikes. And we are in the deep stuff currently. Let's get out of here now. Well, this could maybe roll its way into the rough, possibly. Back on the fairway. I like it. This is clocking in at around 170 yards or so to the pin from here. That's safe. Good luck here. I would uh, love to see you sink this one. It's a, it's a big one.
get there. Hmm. All right, let's sink this and head to the clubhouse, hey? And the par putt drops. Lovely way to end your round, I think. Not too bad. Two over par at the end of your round. And that's going to do it for us here today. Thank you so much for playing, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard will get their card. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the first. Well, that's beautifully judged. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Putting for birdie. If it's up, it could be in. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Starting the round at even par. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. Second shot on the second. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, should be interesting to see how they escape this one. A oh, sigh of relief. Happy to be putting again. Six feet remaining to the cup. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. And that is a nice birdie from the bunker. Way to go. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off here at the third hole. Oh, great swing there. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's currently tied for seventh. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Sitting at two under and a share of seventh. Pretty sure that one's headed left. Yeah, not a bad shot that one. Outside chance here for the birdie. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Oh, 
Oh, this looks pure. Ooh, right by the hole. Opportunity to make their par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Now three strokes back after that hole. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. <laughs> Game of the seven. Needs this one to kick right. And he's safely on the green with that shot. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. A spot in the all-important top five awaits if he can hold this putt. Hey, nice looking line. It was on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. He's currently tied for ninth. arrived at a par four. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Second shot here on the sixth. Going with the hybrid. Not a bad approach. He'll be putting. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the seventh. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And here we are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. Well, you're a ball striker, there's no doubt about that. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Well, Holes will take the birdie. I will take that also into the top five now. Currently at minus three for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game.
Second shot here on the eighth. Game with the 9-9, I think. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. And this putt for a share of the lead. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. There's part of about six feet coming up. Good stroke. And down she goes. He's currently tied for sixth. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, that was bang on target. Four feet to the cup. That's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. Uh, that's a little untidy. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they're going to need to be careful getting out of this one. It is deep, deep into this rough. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Ooh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Par putt coming up here. This one's looking good. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11th. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. <laughs> oh. 
This one might roll into the rough. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. I like the look of this. And there it is. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We've arrived at a par four hole. Second shot here on the 12th. Going with a three wood here. Oh, well played. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, from, the, from my viewpoint, at least, looks around 29 feet. Big chance here. That one had eyes for it the whole way. And that will take him to four under. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Well now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. <laughs> from around 120 yards here. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Our threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Opting for the three wood. Terrific shot. And a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. This is a good chance. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Just two shots back after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Second shot here on the 15th. This one looks like it's going left. 
Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, this one looks like about 26 feet. Oh, just missed. Putting for bogey. And the putt drops, now at three under, heading down the stretch. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, absolutely flushed. Good look at Birdie here. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. Ting off here on the 17th hole. Needs to make a move soon. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Air mailed the green with that approach. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if you can hold this. And only one hole to go in this event, Luke. In. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. Currently four under for the round. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? This is a dicey lie, guys. Really deep rough here, and uh, it's really thick too. Hopefully they can, uh, hopefully they can deal with this and be on their way shortly. That's a good-looking shot there. And this putt for a final score of 67. That's a mistake. Tough to leave that short. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. And with this result, he'll take home a fourth. Absolutely. Finish shot five in this event. Always a good sign. Hopefully better things to come. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HP Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.